In 1848, a railroad construction crew was working near Cavendish, Vermont, preparing the terrain for the Rutland and Burlington Railroad. Among the team was Phineas Gage, a well-regarded foreman known for his efficiency and friendly demeanor. One fateful day, Gage was tasked with clearing rock by using gunpowder to blast it apart. To prepare the charge, he packed gunpowder into a drilled hole, then added sand to tamp it down. For this process, he used a specialized iron rod, approximately four feet long, and pointed at one end. Tragically, as Gage tamped the charge, a spark ignited the gunpowder, causing an explosion. The iron rod was propelled with immense force, entering his left cheek and exiting through the top of his skull. Remarkably, despite losing brain tissue and suffering a massive injury, Gage survived. In the months and years following the accident, Gage's physical recovery was astounding. However, those who knew him noticed profound changes in his behavior. Once known for his friendly and reliable nature, Gage became irritable, impulsive, and less socially adaptable. This transformation highlighted the connection between brain trauma and personality, making his case a groundbreaking example in the field of neuroscience. Phineas Gage lived for another 12 years after the accident, and his story remains one of the most studied examples of the brain's role in shaping behavior. His experience not only demonstrated the resilience of the human body, but also opened new doors for understanding the brain's functions.